And now to Haiti, where the major focus is finding shelter for earthquake victims. It's estimated 700,000 people in Port-au-Prince need a place to live. The hope is to move the homeless to makeshift camps in other parts of the country. Officially, there are 150,000 victims, but that doesn't include the bodies yet to be pulled from the rubble. And now some good news for a Roseville family who adopted two children from Haiti, only to wonder if they'd survive that quake. Well, Robert Moses traveled to Florida for their emotional reunion. We just have to dig in here and find it. After more than two years of waiting and nearly two weeks of worrying, Don Shelton of Roseville only had a few more steps to walk before her adopted daughter from Haiti, Patricia, would be in her arms. We're going to keep you here at the lobby for a couple seconds. We flew with Shelton to Miami, where she waited to bring Patricia, who is nine, and her eight-year-old brother, Philippe, home to Minnesota. I feel like we're finally close to them coming home, and it's time to get them here. We also met Mike and Kristen Savage of Shakopee, who are adopting two one-year-olds from Haiti. You know, as a parent, you just want to be able to protect your kids and to hold them and to keep them to keep them safe. The two families landed in Miami on Friday, but they were not done traveling yet. Late in the day, word came that a flight carrying about 80 orphans would actually land in Orlando. So we made the 200-plus mile drive north. The savages were told their kids were on that flight. But Don Shelton got some bad news. And unfortunately, our children were not on that plane. But just wait. Don Shelton's story is not over yet. Once the children landed, they stayed in a secure part of the airport where they ate and rested. And they played. We got to spend a few minutes with the children. They escaped hell on earth, but looked like they did not have a care in the world. When photographers went back to the parents, it was pandemonium. Parents begged us to look at the video we shot to see if their kids made the flight. That's how Don Shelton learned that despite what she had been told, oh my gosh. Patricia was on the flight. After waiting all night, flying thousands of miles and driving hundreds more, Don Shelton finally had Patricia in her arms. And that was Robert Moses. Now, Patricia's brother, Philippe, was expected to arrive in the U.S. today. And remember the savages from Shakopee, the other family in the story? Well, they are back with their kids, Ben and Elise, who are both healthy.